Okay, part two, we're actually going to um, place a, our exploded assembly view that we just made in the presentation file. Um, and then we'll do our uh, inventory list and, um, and balloons, and then we'll start adding other sheets. Okay, so you want to click base first here. And um, by default, it should have your exploded assembly view that you made. Okay. Uh, let's see here. If, you, if it's not, then just search for it and find your exploded assembly um, uh, IPM file. Okay, that's what we want. We want that IPM file. And then we're going to change our scale to let's try one to four. Let's see how that looks. And try to just fit this thing in here. One to four should work. Okay. See how? See this line here. That's from where I screwed up by, uh, by not hitting the arrow. But, uh, it's our first one, so we'll leave it be. All right, um, make sure you have shaded selected. You want this looking nice. Um, and then you're just going to want to move it as tight to the upper left hand corner as possible. All right, so next, you're going to go to go to annotate. Okay. And we want to go to parts list. And it's going to ask you to select view. Okay. And it should change it to the file right here. So now your file um, should be selected before it has nothing. Um, uh, check enable automatic wrap. All right. And then click OK. And let's see here. If it doesn't, you know, if we, if we have overlap, that's OK. We'll, we're going to adjust our, our, view, our view then. We'll adjust our scale. So go ahead and place it. And looks good. Double click on, on your view and we'll change this to 1 to 5. So now it looks. And then we can just kind of move this up. Right. It, it, you can move it kind of anywhere you want to. I just like having it in the upper left hand corner. Next, you're going to go to um, not up here. It's, it's going to say balloon for you guys. Um, you're going to want to change it to auto balloon. So you select auto balloon. All right. And uh, it's going to say, let's see, right here, select view set. Go ahead and pick on the view anywhere. And then it's going to automatically go to add or remove components. And then what you do is you just click and drag a selection box over this view. Okay, and um, let's see here. Next, go to uh, select placement and then click around. Okay, and then go ahead and just move your mouse out here. And uh, really, we're going to manually move these around. So um, just move your mouse kind of over your, your model and just click. All right. Let's see here. You can also you can adjust your balloon shape. So you know I'll I'll leave it up to you. I like these ones. Um, little hexagon. And then just click OK. Now notice here. See how our items are numbered, and then it actually labeled it for us. This is this is pretty neat. And what you do is you just kind of hover your mouse over each of the balloons and just move them so that. Everything kind of fits a little bit better, you know. Put this one on the side. Yeah, that's better. Right there. Tighten this up a little bit. Okay. around if I want to and get it centered. And the balloons go with it, which is nice. Okay, so this this part's done. Okay. Um, you're gonna want to change the project title and we'll go to um, GDE right click on field text, edit field text, and uh, let's see here go to template. This is our Selfie stick. 
project. And see how it says page one right there? We want that. And I think everything else is good. If you want to, you can change the author here. Click on Glimbard and then go, go up here and go to summary. I'll just put my initials. Click OK. All right, next, um, we're going to add another sheet. I'm going to minimize all this stuff, so I just have sheet one. And go to Place Views, okay? Um, if you haven't done so yet, File, Save As, okay? Uh, save it where all your all your selfie stick stuff is. Uh, mine's in the Unit 2 folder. You should have a Unit 2 folder where your project is. And this is selfie stick demo. Save that. Yes. All right. New sheet. Okay. Selfie stick. Oh, sorry. Flip flop those. Okay. This is sheet two. Forward to sheet one. Two. And now you're going to make a, um, a multi view. Okay, so go ahead and find your actual selfie stick file for the um, assembly. All right, so here's that, and there's an assembly right there. I'll open this up and see how that's my front view. Now, the scale for this is going to be. Let's see here, let's try one four. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Move this over. Go up here, here, and click OK. Don't place an isometric, we're going to do that separately. And double click on here and we'll change our so it's shaded. And then go to uh, projector, project here, and then come up here. Okay, so two, two different steps. Um, create too big, right? So we're going to double click on this and change this to 1 to 8. Cut in half. Click OK. And we can move these around a little bit. So we can get everything to fit. That looks good, right? Next, go ahead and annotate this. Okay. So we want to um, you know, go ahead and throw dimensions in. Over there. I'm going to stagger these so these don't overlap. Um, the size. All right. See how it changes the, this to page two. Okay. As many dimensions in, in here as you can. Okay. And then let's go ahead and go to a third sheet. Name, title, selfie stick. Okay, so now I have sheet three. Now this one, you're gonna put in the uh, exploded viewer. Nice that it put it in, it put it in for me automatically. And let's change this to one to four. See how that looks. Yeah, we want this nice and big. So maybe even one to three. That looks all right. Looks good. And again, you're going to dimension this. Okay. So um, this is cool. This is going to do what's called isometric dimensioning. Now, when you dimension the diameter, okay, you want to make sure that you don't you're not dimensioning on the green dots. So you just kind of hover over it and then you can click on it. Okay. You could always um, change the dimension size if you want to make them bigger, right? You just go to Manage, print, uh, sorry, Styles Editor. It'll come up, and then you go to Text with the plus. Just go to Label. You can go here, and double the size, and then you just click, and then hit Yes here, Save, double the size, and then click back on here, hit Yes. 
say the clothes and then it changes the size of the dimension. Dimension as much as you can on here. <coughs> Problem is down here, change the size of my text. So I could go back in there and mess with that. Okay. So, you know, there are certain things that, that, that kind of might um, get goofy if uh, you mess with the text too much. Um, once you have everything done, see, I'll change the size of this too. Yeah, that's too big. So we're going to go back and uh, mess with the, the text size. I do have a problem here. It looks like my table is overlapping. I noticed that earlier. I don't want that. There we go. And I can move my balloons around as well. Um, okay, so once you have all three sheets done, go ahead and print them out. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at them.